Hello again guys. I've been feeling the need to do something a little bit differently lately and I've seen some other artists create some very beautiful pastel work lately which really inspired me to dig out my old pastel pencils and see what I could do. Soft pastels were one of my first loves when it came to art. They were the first medium that I had any real success with. I remember first using them in high school and they were colourful and bright and messy and I found myself creating images that I liked almost by accident. I used to love the way you could move the medium around a lot and that's what led me to pick up a charcoal pencil for the first time. And I suppose sadly after I pick up the charcoal I sort of didn't go back to the pastels. I did buy a few of the uh, pit pastel pencils in some earth tones over the years to sort of go with the charcoal pencils. But for other than that they've sort of sat neglected in a fishing tackle box for a very long time. I have seen some really beautiful pastel work on my Facebook and Instagram feed lately and it sort of inspired me to pull out the old friends and see what I could do with them. I wanted to use the pastel pencils because I've been using the colour pencils lately and I'm used to sort of that movement of my hand, but I only had a really limited range of colours. I sort of had those earth tones. I probably had about 15 pencils all up that I had to work with, which kind of made it difficult to get the tones that I wanted. And it did give me a good excuse to head to the art store and buy two new pencils for the eyes. Not that I ever really need a good excuse to go to the art store. God, I spent a lot of money there. I'm using the Canson Meetiens Tex paper which I think is called Meetiens Touch in other countries, I'm not sure. But it's a sanded paper that takes the pastel really well and you can build up lots and lots of layers on it. I did have a bit of a bad experience with this paper once where I got a little bit too excited with blending with my fingers over a large piece and I accidentally sanded the tips of my fingers down, which I really don't recommend. So that's why you can see me being a little bit overly cautious and only using a blending stump at first. That little orange brick you can see in the picture is actually a little terracotta pot stand, which seems a little odd, but I was using it to clean off the edge of that blending stump as I went. Worked really well. Because I've used my colour pencils for so long, I did sort of struggle with the order on how I should apply these. With colour pencil, the best approach is to really sort of go from light to dark, I find. But because you can layer the colours so easily with the pastel pencils, it's a lot easier to put your dark colours down and then build up to your highlights. But because the pastels are so blendable and forgivable and you can erase anything you don't like, um, that really didn't end up to be too much of a problem for me. Although it did take me probably about twice as long as usual to complete a piece of this size. I also had a little bit of trouble with the black spots. While the rest of the colours are quite happy to blend in together, accidentally smudging that black into areas I didn't want it really sort of made a really sort of sort of a dead grey colour on the paper that I really didn't like. So I had to really fight not to accidentally smudge that anywhere. Which was quite hard on an animal with a whole bunch of black spots. In hindsight, I would have really liked a really dark brown pastel pencil to be able to use in place of that black but unfortunately I don't quite have something like that in my collection yet. Towards the end of this piece, as I got away from the short hair of the head and sort of down to that longer, shaggier hair on the body, I found I was having a fair bit of trouble trying to get the texture that I wanted with the pencils, so I did dig into the old tackle box of soft pastels to try and help me achieve that softer look, as opposed to the really wiry look I was getting with the pencil. I made a lot of mess and I had a lot of fun doing this, so I think there's a good chance I'll pull these pencils out again in the future. But for now it's back to the colour pencils and I'm working on a Christmas New Year's sort of themed piece that I'm hoping to have done in time. Although with the chaos of work and the school holidays at the moment, I'm sort of doubting it, but we'll see how we go. And here's the final piece. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Please let me know what you think with a like or a comment. And if you'd like to see what I come up with next, why not hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys.